Do you love space wolves? But you hate Easter rig blue space wolves? Stay tuned. Yo dog, Kenny Boucher here, next level painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days here in the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California, we are doing it again. Today, we're working on Space Wolves, one of the most favored of all of the chapters. I even have been known to play Space Wolves back in the day, I played a lot in 5th edition. I had a cool drop pod Space Wolf Army, and of course I had some Thunder Wolves. Yo, literally, American Express card in 5th edition. I have painted Space Wolves all the ways. I've painted them the eggshells, the powder blues, the baby blues, the really dark almost blacks, and everything in between. I've been painting them for a long time. If you're looking for both, a little bit of a brighter with a transition, but still on the dark side, or a grittier, totally darker gray style with hints of blue, I'm going to cover both of those today really simply in this tutorial. It's basically going to come down to two colors from Privateer Press. P3 Formula, New Grimkin, Grave Digger Denim. Thomar Black is a standard color from them, and we're going to be using that new sickly skin as it. The kicker is going to be, of course, when we introduce the wash game. It's going to be before and an after kind of situation. Stay tuned, guys. It's going to be simple, yet informative. Go with me here, guys, for one second. I'm going to shout out a couple of amazing individuals this week from Patreon. I can't do it without this support, guys. Mazdakai, Kevin, Hal, Will, RJ, Martin, Brian, Dorn's Missing Hand, Fangel, Reed, Paul, Jeff, John, Sneth, Tyler. I cannot do it without you guys. Came in clutch this week. It is how I keep the lights on. If you're looking for a VIP experience, look no further, guys. That's on Patreon. Or you can always check out the longword.net, the home of the battle reports. Anyway, guys, let's do it. Guy Gore fell handed. From the Burning of Prospero, I believe. This is a Space Wolf. That's all I know. I'm not a Space Wolf scientist. We got Thalmar Black and Grave Digger Denim. These are P3 right out the gate. We're going to mix them together in the airbrush. A little airbrush flow improver from Vallejo. This is legit. Got to buy some if you're an airbrush artist. All right. You see, we're just mixing it right in the pot. We're just dabbing, grabbing a dollop right out of the Grave Digger Denim. Mixing it right into the black, making essentially a blackish blue slop. Add a little bit more in there. I want a little bit more blue to come through. And we're going to just start highlighting this black. It was important to prime the model black so that we can keep that darkness in the deepest recesses. When you have a model with this much going on, it does actually help to have those elements of the model to stay dark and almost black as you start airbrushing and highlighting. It'll hide anything you don't paint. So we're just building it up. Basic radio highlights, or even Xenthiel in some positions. Real fast, too easy. Now we're gonna jump right into some pure Grave Digger denim, back into our airbrush, make sure to thin it down. Always keep the tip clean, especially when you're jumping into a highlight color like this, it'll stop it from speckling. Sometimes it builds up on the tip there. Now we're gonna very lightly feather in this highlight. It's very thin. And we're predominantly pushing air through the airbrush, rocking the trigger back very gently, introducing a very small amount of paint, building our highlights and our transitions. It's fun to keep some transitions in there, but you don't have to go too crazy here. We are going to be working a darker color schemes, but I am going to leave some of that previous mid-tone in as a shadow. Let it be interesting. Let it be transition because that's what I love about airbrushes, guys. Airbrush is fun. It lets you do interesting things. I don't always think about light. I'm not a light scientist. I just think about what looks cool. There you go. So you already see we're getting a nice Space Wolf gray here. A little bit more OG, classic Space Wolves. Feeling it. Now, there's nothing wrong with really fun, bright colors. I've done some things really blue powder blue, eggshell blues. I've done them in the past and I introduced a lot of fun yellows and oranges. It looks really fun. But we're trying to go old school here. Keep it on the muted tones, keep it dark, keep it electric, and we can pop the contrast off with some of the details because he's going to have some golds and stuff in it. All right, sickly skin. This is P3, new Grimkin. We're going to mix some of that in with the Grave Digger denim and create a new highlight. It's an off-white style highlighting. Real subtle. Drop them off on the tops of the shoulders, the knees, Anywhere you think that you want 
light to be playing off of something. I, I, I don't go crazy with that theory. I mainly just shoot it where I where it's easiest, <laughs> which is probably where the light would hit. I'm not a scientist. I don't know if that's accurate. There we go. Now the cool thing about these highlights that we're doing here is this is more in the bright spectrum with some dark tones. It's not super baby blue. There's blue in it. It's highlighted. It's dark. It's very interesting. You can let it ride just like this. This could be your space of armor. You can paint all your guys like this, go in, cut all your details in, and have a nice, bright, fantastic looking space of army that wasn't that baby blue. But we're gonna take it one step further, guys. So, in line with one of my classic statements I always make, take it to 11 before you wash it back to 10, that's what I'm actually doing here. Even though, like I said, you could just let it ride. So we're gonna take some gloss varnish from the Army Painter. We're gonna run it through our airbrush and we're just gonna bang it down. We're gonna thin it down with a little bit of airbrush thinner. And we're just gonna do a couple of thin coats, quick passes, build up a nice gloss coat over this model because we will be using my patented gangster wash technique. And it's very important to lock in the subtle transitions of the airbrush protect them from the aggressive washing, but also, as I've said before, the gloss varnish creates a sheet of glass essentially over the model and it will help disperse the wash. You'll see here in just the next few steps. I don't always show this process, but I want you guys to see how subtle it is, what's the right amount of gloss. Some people, they tell me they're having problems with it drying. You don't want it to ever look like milk. If you see white at all, it's too much. So right when it starts to get shiny, you're almost done. You when it looks wet like it does now. So basically, good to go. I'm gonna set it down, let it dry. Quick shade wash mixing medium from the Army Painters. This is the Shiz Night. We're gonna use dark tone and blue tone. These are part of their wash formulas. These are so good. We're gonna mix them all together in this little ancient Chinese technique bottle cap lid right here. It's a proprietary design. We're gonna swirl them together, make them look good. And the cool thing about that mixing medium is it helps break it up. It adds more medium in there without distorting the pigment where water might actually cause weird dry patterns. This is gonna help break up the surface tension even further and lighten up the wash. Now it's a little bit too on the blue side for me right here. So I am gonna introduce some more black, AKA dark tone. I wanna darken it up, but I don't wanna just wash it black. That's why we're cutting it with a little blue and a lot of this mixing medium. When combined, with the gloss varnish, you're gonna see, it's gonna repel, push it into all the little crevices. It's gonna naturally wick itself away from the raised areas. And even if you have some buildup, it's not gonna stain. It's not gonna leave that notorious coffee staining you see when you come in heavy with a lot of other washes. Now, other companies do make great washes, GW among them. But I'm just saying, in my vast experience, I've been doing this as part of my next level painting paint system for commission painting for seven years, actually this October. I have never used a wash as good as these washes. That's why they've become essentially my official wash now. So as you see, we're just going on super aggressive and you see it's finding its way into all the little details, even subtle ones, strengthening, adding contrast. Like I said, you're gonna see spots that look built up. It's not gonna dry that way though. It's gonna be translucent. It's gonna blend, it's gonna feather. It's not gonna stain anything. This is so fun. And so you could literally lay out all your space wolves, get them all airbrushed up, gloss varnish them all, get all your wash ready to go, and just come in here and just pay attention. This is not like dipping. It looks similar to like old dipping styles, but you don't really control the game when you dip the model. We are applying the wash where we want and manipulating it with the paintbrush. Now here you go, look, he's still drying. He's a little shiny, but look how good that looks. There's a lot of contrast. He's very dark, he's very gritty. He's ready to get highlighted. It's gonna look fabulous. Now, let's do a quick little time lapse here. It's dried up, it's no longer shiny, so it's not like extra vibrant anymore. There it is. That is a solid Space Wolf Gray OG. That is what I'm talking about. We're gonna take this model to the next level live on Twitch, guys. Definitely tune in. Play on, players.